I just hate those people who knock on your door and loudly rap, 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 and they say, you have to be saved or you will burn. Darn firemen. <laughs> hey, hey, just saying and happy day. I got stuff for you, leftism. It's an emotional base stupidism thing. Leftism consists of causes that give those who otherwise lack meaning something to uh, cling to for meaning. Leftists seek to dismantle just about everything. You know, as uh, former President Barack uh, Obama said five days before the 28 election, we are five days away from fundamentally transforming the United States of America. In other words, fundamentally transforming society, which gives people no meaning, right? And it's not necessary. And that's happening again now with Joe Biden. He is the president-elect, and will he end up being the president? I don't know. Nobody knows. It certainly would appear that way. And he's going to bring your Bernie Sanderses in and all your other crazy left-wing people and do this change again. Does America want that change? Of course not. And then you got Biden, who has said repeatedly, I will be the president for all Americans. Not so fast, because half of them, more than half, actually don't want what you want. You got elected. Did you cheat? Of course you did, because that's what people like you do. That's a Democrat thing. It's a liberal thing. And now you're going to transform the country. And that happened before with Obama and Trump unwound a lot of that. And now you're going to spend the next couple of years, Mr. Biden, unwinding what Trump did. There's a lot of going forward and going backward happening here. I guess the good news is, is there are changes. Other countries never, ever touch what the previous government did. Swing over to Canada and England and so many other places. So I guess there's that. Maybe it's a good thing. Then you have the U.S. Senator Marco Rubio. He said Democrat Party officials are nuts. Actually, he didn't. That's me. He said they're crazy. <laughs> there you go. He called uh, Trump the front runner in the uh, 2024 GOP nomination. He's looking ahead, that guy, I mean, forward thinking. And he says uh, voters don't like crazy people. And uh, the people that control the Democrat Party are crazy. I give you that. You got my vote. In Canada, there's a man, his name is Ed Berlou. He's a firearm attorney. He's the best in the land. That's all he does is represent people who have gun charges against them. Sometimes he utilizes the insurance of firearm legal defense, and other times even with or without it, he's there, he's your man, and he's a fighter, and he's got a guy that is saying, oh, help me, John Hipwell. He says, I'm fighting against instant criminality, uh, criminality without representation because of all the gun laws in Canada, and Ed's doing a fantastic job, but his client needs money, needs to fundraise. Ed is thorough. He's in there doing the research and doing the this, and he's doing the fight. And uh, talk is cheap. It costs money to buy whiskey, and it really costs money to have the best lawyer in the land fighting for not just this one guy. He's a representative. He's fighting for all Canadians. So if you are a Canadian with or without a gun, send us an email. Uh, admin at rightedition.com and say, I would like to help and include your phone number and then I'll pass it all over to Ed or to someone in his office and they'll contact you and you can help. Freedom ain't free. Y'all get a man on that. Now, in Canada, the Constitution Act Section 9213 defines provincial jurisdiction over property and this, in fact, does include firearms. Okay, and uh, I got more. The registration of all firearms in Quebec, for instance, they came along as an independent place, as a province, and they asked for the long gun registry to be returned to them. It used to be federal, and they got it. So they won, okay? Uh, the court said, it's valid. You can now do it. So other provinces can also do what they want to do, for the most part, with guns. And now you have uh, situations going on. You have a new CFO in Saskatchewan who's provincially appointed, and he's a real guy with a real mind, and he's not the government goofs that they have. And now Alberta's talking about doing the same thing. So the there will be protection now for gun owners and the provinces are saying that we need to protect the law-abiding people because Trudeau in the middle of a pandemic, he's attacking his own citizens. He hates people. And another problem with most gun people, they're white. He hates white people and they have a gun on top of it all. And most of them are conservative. That's a triple whammy. Hey, firearm legal defense is there too as an insurance company to help everybody to protect them from their own government. I pause. What do you think of that? I got to be protected from the people who work for me. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. And, and here's something in the States. A, police, a friend of mine who's a policeman, I shoot with him down in California and uh, he's part of a SWAT team. And he said, all shooters uh, have to be, you know, different colors. They got to watch what color everybody is. And he said, if the shooter uh, isn't of color, 
you don't hear anything. But if the shooter is black or shoots a black person, he goes on and on about the color thing. I don't have all of his wordage here, but I think you get the point, right? I, I mean, racism is alive and well, is it? Stupidism is. I don't think anybody's a real racist, certainly not no one that I know. I guess if you really dig, you'll find it somewhere. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay, Talis, Tallahassee, you have a uh, uh, governor there that has drafted anti-mob legislation that will expand Florida's standard ground law, which will allow armed citizens to shoot suspected looters and criminal mischief. Well, you'd shoot them anyway, wouldn't you? <laughs> I guess now you can. I just assumed you always could, but not to take away from your moment, Governor. God bless you. I mean, this is good because the bad guys, they have legislation too, I guess. I don't know that it's written so much, but certainly it comes out in court, comes out in trials. Now, in the olden, olden days, I want to end it on a lighter note. Uh, selfies. So many people do selfies. <laughs> and you see videos of people taking a selfie, Ooh, and they fall off a cliff or they trip or something else. The safest way to do a selfie was back in the 1600s. Have a look at this guy. This is a painter. He looks in the mirror and he paints himself. Okay, eh, kind of worked for him. Hey, 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 that's a three-faced guy. Who knew? Y'all come back. See ya.